hello everybody in this video we will study about the designing of pipe outlet and simply you can say uh, design of irrigation outlet okay so uh, we have a uh, question here and uh, we will solve this um, numerical okay and before this video uh, we have already solved a numerical related to a pipe outlet okay so this was our first question uh, and uh, before starting this video uh, you must see uh, first uh, numerical related to pipe outlet okay uh, in, in that video uh, we have discussed in very detail and uh, different uh, concepts related to designing of pipe outlet okay and uh, some uh, basic um, formulas also we have di discussed so uh, before uh, seeing this video I strongly recommend please uh, you have to see first uh, video okay and I will keep a link in description box so you can visit from there okay uh, after uh, seeing first video you can easily understand this video okay so uh, let's uh, start the solution of this numerical so you can see here this is the question and uh, this question is asked in Pokhara University 2021 and our question is given over here design and irrigation outlet for the following data we have given data uh, fsq of outlet simply the full supply discharge of outlet equal to uh, 50 liter per second uh, fsl in distributory on upstream side of outlet equal to 200 meter fsl means full supply level in water course on downstream side of outlet equal to uh, 199.92 meter and the FSL in distributory on upstream side of outlet equal to 105 meter is given over here. Now we have to design a pipe outlet and uh, irrigation outlet. Okay, so uh, before solving this numerical, uh, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe the channel and like the video and uh, press the bell icon so you will get uh, regular update. Okay. Uh, and uh, the so solution related to this numerical I have already discussed in first video okay so uh, let's summarize some uh, concept before solving this numerical so we have to first thing that uh, we have to determine the available head and available head can be simply uh, calculated by the uh, full supply level of distribution channel minus full supply of water course so you can uh, calculate the value of hl that is available head then we have to calculate the value of discharge that is discharge equal to cda root under 2d 2d uh, 2g hl so hl means simply uh, this value that is available head and the uh, discharge that is in the value of q is already given to the question and the value of cd and uh, a okay for this you can see here uh, cd is nothing it is a constant and this is uh, this is called coefficient of discharge and this value is taken generally uh, 0 0.0 cd 0 0.62 that is cd is equal to 0 0.62 for the general condition but uh, for the special condition that is for the submerged flow we have to take the value of cd equal to 0 0.73 okay so this is uh, two important condition as i have discussed in detail in first video so i uh, recommend you please uh, visit first video then you can easily understand this numerical and uh, the value of a. a is simply the area of pipe area of pipe equal to pi d square by 4 and d is the diameter of pipe and the diameter of pipe simply taken as 25 to uh, 30 cm generally okay so after knowing these things uh, let's start the solution of this numerical so uh, first thing we have given over here the uh, full supply discharge of outlet that is the value of q equal to uh, 50 liters per second you can see here okay so uh, simply 50 liter per second uh, uh, in the liter but we have to calculate uh, in discharge in meter cube per second for this simply we have to uh, divide by 1000 after dividing 1000 the value becomes 0 0.05 in meter cube per second okay uh, and uh, as i told you we have to first thing to calculate available head across the outlet so available head across the outlet simply calculated uh, by the this formula okay so uh, fsl of distributory 
uh, you have we have given over here uh, FSL of in distributory on upper steam side uh, equal to 200 meter so uh, we take simply 200 meter minus uh, FSL of water course so FSL of water course is given 199.92 meter so we just take this value and after uh, dividing we get the available head equal to 0 0.08 meter so simply it uh, it is called SEL okay you can say working head working head equal to HL equal to 0 0.08 meter so uh, we have calculated this value now since the available head is very small and uh, this available head is 0 0.08 meter so this is very small okay uh, in the comparison to 1 meter this is barely small that's why uh, a non modular outlet such as submerged pipe outlet will be provided so this is one of the most important you must know before uh, doing this numerical okay the available head is very small as compared to one meter this is very small that's why a non modular outlet such as uh, submerged pipe outlet will be provided for this uh, we will take this uh, formula as i told you discharge equal to cda root under 2d uh, 2g hl so we have uh, discharge that is by q equal to 0 0.05 meter as we calculated so uh, this value becomes here and cd equal to 0 0.73 why we take 0 0.73 uh, as i told you let's see here as i told you the value of cd is taken uh, 0 0.73 for the submerged flow okay and for the submerged flow uh, we have when we calculate uh, during the calculation of head uh, it is very small that is the working head is very small then we have to take the value of cd equal to uh, 0 0.73 okay but in general condition uh, we have to take 0 0.63 and uh, in first numerical uh, we have taken the value of cd equal to 0 0.62 for uh, general condition why you taken this uh, because in that video in that numerical the condition is uh, general condition that's why we take uh, cd equal to 0 0.62 but in this numerical uh, this value of cd is taken 0 0.73 because this is for the submerged type of flow okay that's why we take value of cd equal to uh, 0 0.73 i will write here cd equal to 0 0.73 for submerged flow okay and uh, a a is simply area of, of pipe and area of pipe equal to pi d square by 4 into root under 2 g equal to 9.81 and hl hl we have already calculated that is the value of hl equal to 0 0.08 so we just keep here so 0 0.08 now uh, in this situation everything is known only uh, d is unknown so simply we can calculate the value of d and the value of d becomes 0 0.26 meter okay and simply uh, we have to provide the value of diameter greater than the value becomes uh, this after calculating so uh, greater value of 0 0.26 meter means 0 0.3 meter okay so simply 0 0.3 meter means uh, 30 cm and you can say 300 mm okay so uh, as we discussed in the flat area condition uh, simply the value of diameter of pipe is taken to uh, between 25 to 30 cm that's why we have taken the value of uh, this uh, that is 30 cm and this value is greater than the 0 0.26 meter so uh, let's take the value of uh, the diameter of pipe is 30 cm hence provide diameter of pipe equal to 30 cm rl of bed of distributory equal to uh, we have to uh, you can see here So the RL of bed of the distributory equal to uh, FSL in distribution on the op ST minus uh, we have to uh, subtract uh, minus 1.05 that is the value of FSL given over here okay 1.05 so simply uh, we have to uh, subtract 1.05 from the uh, FSL in distributory okay so the value of uh, FSL in distributory on op steam side of outlet is equal to 200 so the value of 200 minus um, the value of fcl given here side of outlet 1.05 so uh, we have to do, uh, subtract this value 1.05 after subtracting uh, we will get the rl of bed of distributor equal to 198.95 meter 
now uh, let the top uh, let the top pipe can be fixed 22 cm below a threshold of distributor okay uh, whenever the top pipe is fixed below the 22 cm of the uh, from the FSL of uh, distributory then we have to uh, subtract this value okay uh, from the FSL of distributory so we have uh, lower level of pipe becomes equal to uh, 200 that is 200 is the uh, full supply level in the uh, distributory on the outside of the outlet so uh, 200 minus whenever we provide 20 cm below the FSL so the uh, value of this becomes uh, 0 0.22 in meter so we have to subtract this value minus 0 0.23 and uh, we have to also subtract the diameter of pipe so diameter of pipe is simply we have taken uh, provides diameter of pipe equal to 30 cm means uh, 0 0.03 meter so uh, we take on diameter of pipe is 0 0.03 meter and after calculating this value uh, we will get 199.484 meter okay so lower level of pipe equal to 199.484 meter okay so areal of lower level of pipe can be calculated in this way so this is all about the designing of irrigation outlets i hope you guys will uh, understand if you have any queries please comment down below okay i will definitely reply and uh, for this designing of uh, irrigation outlet you must know uh, fsl of outlet that is the value of q and the formula of q equal to cd root under 2d hl and hl is uh, nothing it is simply uh, the value of full supply level of distributed uh, minus the value of uh, full supply level of water course so uh, the value of hl that is available here can be calculated and the value of g is taken uh, 9.8 and on the value of a that is uh, diameter of pipe and cd of value is taken uh, 0.62 generally but whenever the value of uh, available head is very small okay then we have to take the value of uh, cd equal to 0 0.3 for the submerged flow okay after knowing this parameter you can simply uh, design the pipe outlet okay and uh, you can also say irrigation outlet so thank you very much hope you guys are understand well thank you very much see you in next video okay and uh, you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe the channel and uh, like the video okay and press the bell icon so you will get a uh, regular update thank you very much see you in next video and please uh, visit to our channel for the different uh, numerical related to irrigation engineering and different uh, theory uh, okay so thank you very much see you in next video